All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Link, and you see the title, How to Change Careers into IT. Now, it's a little bit of different ways for different people, depending on what you done did and where you at now. But um, <clears throat> for the most part, if you have no experience in IT, but you have had other jobs, let's say, uh, use, use me as an example, um, worked at Walmart, uh, worked for pest control, and all that, right? So... I, that's outside of me going to school because y'all know I went to school for it. But let's say I didn't go to school. With those two jobs, what are the main things? Customer service. I always tell y'all customer service is so important when it comes to IT, period. IT help desk, uh, any parts of IT, look, you need good customer service. Nobody want to be getting help from somebody who got an attitude all the time. So, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Um, Yeah, so you need customer service. That's the number one thing. But let's say you're a... a a security guard, right? Let's say you're a security guard and you're trying to change from security to IT, but you have no experience. Okay, cool. This is where it comes in if you want to take some classes. No, you do not need to go to college. You do not need to go to no four-year university, whatever, whatever. Go ahead, take you. You got two choices for real. Go ahead, take you a little six to nine-month class. <clears throat> I went to CTI Career Technical Institute, downtown Vermont Avenue, Northwest. You go down there, you take your little uh, six to nine month class, you start out with the IT fundamentals, Excel, all that stuff. Then you move to like the help desk part when you're dealing with like, you know, troubleshooting, learning about computer components, hardware, software, this and that. Okay. Then once you do that, I'm assuming you already have a high school diploma or at least a GED. Once you get your experience there, you can uh, either get you an internship or try to get right into uh, an IT job. And between that and or you can not go to school, self-teach yourself with YouTube, uh, Cyberry IT, and whatever else resource, free resources online that you can use to watch and study, as well as go on Amazon or Professor Messer and get you the little IT, uh, what's, what's it called? The little information guidebook or whatever to teach yourself with, they little, with the little books. And then plus online, write down your notes, practice tests, all this and that online, watch videos, watch 202 and videos. And you can do it like that without having to go to school and then get your certification. Um, as far as, I say you don't really, you shouldn't really like go to college for it because with my job, when I first started for level one IT, all I needed was a high school diploma and some experience. And y'all know I had experience, one from school and then two from an internship. Let's get into the internships. Find you. Now, I don't know why some internships want you to have to go to college to uh, get in the internship. I think that's so, that, that makes no sense. You got to be in college when there's different types of schools that aren't considered, I guess, college, even though anything after high school should be considered college or whatever. It's further learning, but you shouldn't have to, you know, go do that. Either way, um, what else? Yeah, those are the main two things. I'm not about to make like no super detailed video telling you guys to go do this and this and that. It's as easy as whatever career field you're in, either start teaching yourself, especially if you're a security guard or something like that, teaching yourself on your own time. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go to school. You don't have time to go to school. You don't got the money to go to school. You don't want to pay to go to school. You don't want to go to no grants to go to school. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. That's why I didn't go to college to begin with. Like university, I'm like, I'm not about to pay all this to go to school. And you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, self-teach yourself. Go ahead, get you some books from offline, watch you some videos, study, 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 and then get you your junk like that. You already got a, a high school diploma or GED, so you don't need to go back. Okay, and you do it like that. Or if you do have time, go to school, get the learning. I still got rewards from me going to school, attendance and all that. And from when I graduated, go to your little 69-1 school. They should try to help you get an internship. I had difficulties. I found my own internship. And after that, you know what I'm saying? You just put yourself out there. Get a LinkedIn account if you must. That's like Facebook for jobs. Fill out jobs on, it's jobs on Indeed. I got most of my jobs from Indeed. Go on governmentjobs.org for D.C., Maryland, Virginia, wherever you at. Okay. And, uh, yeah, oh, we happy 4th of July, y'all. And that's really it for real for real. It's like not too much you really got to do. Have you some work experience? Either choose to go to school and study online and study. I mean, either choose to go to school and do that and get your uh, tech degrees, tech school, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it's called. And then they might even help you get a certification. My school was going to actually pay for my certification because my grades and stuff was good. 
And the certification is also a two part. For the A plus, it's a two part test. I think it's two hundred dollars for each. So yeah. But uh, yeah, you just got self teach yourself. Um, you lost weight, mommy. You were so big. Or, yeah. Or, or do one or the other. Um, like I say, DC got a lot of free programs. Uh, I'm going to still, still have to do the video on that. So, yeah, y'all, it's not that hard. Don't be afraid to switch your careers. Because, like I say, like, this, like, I'm never complaining about help desk. Like, yeah, I might have some stressful days. Everybody got stressful days at work. But it's never like, oh, I do not want to go to, oh, I don't feel like going here. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? It's never none of that. I never really dread going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never dread going to work. I used to dread, like, like I'm going to Walmart. I used to dread going to uh, uh, UPS. I used to dread going to uh, being a termite inspector. You know, the money was good as far as the termite thing went. But that was about it. But money don't run me. I run money. It's like, nah, it's like, yeah, though. Don't work a job just because of the money and you hate that. That's so miserable. I will never do anything that I don't enjoy. Like, people, uh, like, I, I I said this in another video. Um, Somebody had said to me, uh, yeah, um, you're uh, something along the lines uh, of uh, basically them saying that people around me was, like, moving up in different places. But uh, I was still here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, but one, it's none of your business what I'm doing. Two, I'm not about to be sit up here and like go learn the networking stuff. And I don't even care for networking for real. I don't care for developing for real. I don't care for any of the other stuff besides help desk. One, I like to help people. And it's like three levels to it. So one, I like to help people. Two, I'm going to advance in this part. And then I'll end up being a supervisor. So you got to think about that. People also will want you to move out of your spot because they want your spot. Or they want somebody they know to have your spot. So be on the lookout for that, but don't like like I don't care. Like IT is cool. I love me some IT. I love me some IT money. An IT bag. And I'm gonna keep telling y'all that it's a bag here because it is. Y'all see me. Since I work I always go get what I want anyway. But since I've worked for during doing IT, I just been buying everything that I want. And I want y'all to be able to do the same thing. I I drive my dream truck. I bought my dream motorcycle. The battery charger, y'all. I bought my dream motorcycle. I didn't even really have a dream motorcycle, but my dream was to have a motorcycle, okay? I'm trying to get me a house. I tell y'all that experience because I got to go to something on the 15th for the home buyers program, whatever. Y'all know they, they they make you take classes to buy houses? Ugh. Either way. So, yeah, I'm doing that, and I'm doing all this on my own with my one little, not even, it's not even a little help that job, with my help that job. So, hey. Um, let me see. I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh, I've been doing help desk for like almost four years now. I was 23. I was turning 23 and now I'm 26. So about three and a half, four years. And it's good. Like the money is good. The money is growing. I have a great uh, life outside of work because that's another thing. People think you're supposed to be so caught up in the work and all this and that. Don't do that. Don't be like that. Work is work and your home life is your home life. That's exactly why I don't be linking up with friends. Like I, I might be cool with somebody at work, but... I don't be wanting to see nobody outside of work for real. But like I said, people around you will try to tell you to do something else or go do something else and try to make it seem like you're not doing much with what you're doing, but whole time you is. That's why when people try to say something about, uh, like when I had that person that was like, uh, everybody, uh, whatever, whatever the fuck he said that was along the lines of people, uh, moving, moving around me. I'm like, that's them. That's on them. They pay didn't go up. And their trainees. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, either way, y'all, man, get you an IT and get you a bag. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Happy 4th of July.